Hi, this is Takuma Nakata. I'm an interaction designer based in Kyoto. And in today's uh, Particle Pack Volume 3 tutorial, I'm going to share uh, this two interesting node included in Particle Packs called uh, self rotation and Bounce. Uh, so this is the result that we're going to reach for today. Um, so as you see, these particles here that's emitting are bouncing on top of this box that is in the middle. And also the particles are blocked inside this cube so that it doesn't go away. And for this I'm using this node called Bounce. So I'll talk about that one. Somehow it's not working well. Uh, and then there's another one called uh, self repulsion and you can sort of like do a uh, physics simulation uh, using particles. So each of them has like collision so that they interact with each other uh, so that it doesn't go on top of that. This one is not like perfect collision, but you can kind of like uh, make uh, sort of like physical uh, physics effect just in particle packs. So I'm going to share about these two. Okay, so let's get started. And uh, so to follow, to, this is the third version of the particles pack. And if you haven't watched uh, my uh, previous tutorial, please go to this VVV graphics tutorial by me. And I have uh, uh, 10, was it 10? Different uh, tutorials about VVV. And my particle, uh, my VV tutorial is also inside this VVV TV, which is great. So, um, yeah, go here and check it out. Uh, so for today's tutorial, again, we need this DDX11 particles pack. So please make sure that you have this in, uh, inside your packs folder. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I have to. Okay, so as like always, uh, we need the render and some uh, basic nodes. So if you already know this basic, just skip this part. I always just have to do this. So through. Ratio and camera. Then uh, I'll just I'll need an emitter, so I'll just use this dynamic buffer emitter as always, and I'll just copy paste all the things that I need just back here. I actually don't need all of these, so I'll just delete them. And for today's uh, particle pack, I'm not going to use the spri uh, sprite one. I'll, instead of that, I'll use a funk directional, a funk point particle effect because this one is more visible. Oh, and as always, axis and grid just to make sure we know where your camera is. Okay. So I'll have, have another group node here so that I can add some different, oh, that's already up there. So I'll connect this one here. And for today, I'll use a sphere geometry. So I'll connect this one, make the scale a bit smaller. Make it too small, this big should be fine. Okay, so this is the basic setup. Um, I'll just bring this group node a bit bigger. I think I'll use five different uh, modifier for today. So I'll set this up here. Okay, so first of all, we need dynamic buffer 3D. Oh, well, I'll just start explaining the, how about each different uh, patches, and I'll copy from there. So today we're going to use this self repulsion. Uh, uh, node and also the bounce node, which is where both modifier included inside particle packs. And let's just press F1 and check what it does. 
So this is what it does. So ba in basic, without this self repulsion, I'll bring it back here. Uh, so if you unplug this self repulsion thing, reset the particles. Particles will just emit, and there's no physics ap applied on this uh, sample patch, so it doesn't move at all. But what self repulsion thing is on? then it starts attracting to each other and starts going like outside because it's hitting each other so it has this random movement into it with this so you can let the, each particles have sort of collision so that it, it bounces to each other so that's what we want for today so i'm gonna copy this one and put it back here emitter this is easier okay let's bring all these over so I got this one and I'm also going to be using this one. Uh, so I'll just put this one here, delete this one. Okay, so with this I already got particle here. Oh yeah, this is quite strong. So I don't need 10,000, I'll just use 5,000 here. And I don't want 5,000 particles emitting at the same time, so I just put this one to 50. And also make sure that I have the reset on the particle on so that I see what's happening okay so this is uh, closer to what I want uh, I think the rep so with a self repulsion there's several parameters as it's ex it is explained here uh, so this cell just read here I'm not gonna read this up uh, radius I'm gonna set the radius for today so I don't need to change this one but if you want uh, self repulsion to set the radius you just change this one this one is the most important one so i don't at the moment it's uh repulsing posing to each other too strong right now so i'll just make it lower so that it, it has this less uh effect uh, so this is good um and also self repulsion has uh this layer out help thing and if you connect this one to the group here so this is the area that it's applied the effect is applied if you want to make bigger you just have to connect the transform here to make uh, for example if I make the scale vector and connect it here you can actually make the area bigger so with this then you would have this will be the the area that's surrounded this white box is the area that will be reduced but I don't need this one so for today I just put it off I think the particles are too big right now so I make it smaller so this is one and then for today's tutorial we're gonna also be seeing this bounce effect this one is also physics kind of effect I'm not sure if the particle pack is actually using like real physics but I mean it works as a physics so it should be fine so with this one you can actually let the particles stay inside the box and it keeps bouncing and it has two different modes one is inside and one is outside so in the sample patch it has uh, so the small box in the middle uh, has out set it as outside and this big box outside is set as inside so it stays inside the box and this one bounces outside the box so if I move this box to a higher area like plus y axis then as you see you can actually move this box so you can make sort of like a real-time collision using this box you can also scale it down and up and it works really smooth so by this you can make a uh, you can uh set an area for your particles to bounce and this is really cool uh one thing that's not here is it doesn't have a function to change the shape so you have to stick on spheres uh, boxes and I couldn't figure out how I could use like spheres or different like triangles or like something like torus or something different as an area to set so but uh, so you can't do that inside uh, particle packs but if you in you have a uh, field trip installed in field trip there's this node called um, SDF reflector, SDF reflector, and if you open up, oh, if you open this one up, 
you can actually set uh, SDF as a collision object. So with this right now, it's a, it's a box, but you can also have a sphere here. It's not updating. Oh yeah, that's because uh, sphere. Oh well, I'm not gonna explain in details with this one, but if yeah, if you use this one, you can actually have different shapes as a collision object. So. Then if it, this one as a basic is really nice. If you want more complicated one, then just use that one as the reflector, reflector from Field Trip. And you have any, if you haven't installed uh, Field Trip, just go to this link. I'll put the link below. Just install this one and put it in the packs folder. Okay, so let's start connecting these uh, just to make some visuals. Um, so just as, as is usual, just copy and paste these fours I need fours and I also want a uh, different scales so I'll use a scale modifier connect it to here and then I have dynamic buffer 3d as a scale and I'll be using this one and I'll use the select select node so that I can set different yeah, input. So one, two, three. What the select node does is it, it, it how to say it, it select each value three times. So I have three ones, three twos, three three. So yeah. Um, am I seeing the right result? The lifespan is at the moment five. Uh, no, I'm not seeing the right result, and that is because my render is here hidden. Okay. So this is better, I'll just make this one smaller. And I think the box, the area of the box is too small, so I'll connect this one. Bounce also has this layer out help, so I'll connect this one to see where my box is. It's too small, so I'll make this all to two. And I'll connect this transform to the self repulsion as well, so that I have the same uh, box for effects. Uh, bounce multiplicator is too high, so I'll just make this one lower. Yeah, now, oh wait, still this Gaussian spread. I think the emitting point of the particles are also too close to each other. This I'll just make this one 50 as well. Okay. Uh, oh, no, multiply should be fine. Uh, so three times because it needs X, Y, Z. Why is it emitting from the same location? Oh, okay. I know why that is. I need to add uh, this random seed. I have to change this random seed and I'll set this one to 0 0 0.01 so that it keeps changing the location. Okay, this is better. Now I'm getting the better result and I'll put it back down. And uh, I have the force working here. Uh, but I somehow don't feel I think I can put this one really small. The force is strong, the scale is okay. Uh, bounce layers not the fine. I'm gonna change this color because it's too dark. Okay, now I see more. Uh, I think something is wrong with this. I have to figure out that what that is. No, this one doesn't have to be that high. Here, radius, I just set it to default, so one is should be fine. Yeah, I think this one is just way too high. I just set it lower.
I think I'm emitting too much particles. So I'll just uh, lower 1000 and 10. Just to make it more clear because at the moment it's really hard to see what's happening. And one. Okay, well, this looks a bit better. So, yeah, this is this was like the basic thing that I wanted to share. Like, so by using this bounce and self repetition, you can actually have sort of like physical, like a physics uh, effect inside VVV using particles, and this is quite powerful. Yeah, that was it for today, and this is what I wanted to share. So these two nodes are really cool. Uh, if you haven't used it, please use it. Uh, this will be my last uh, tutorial for the particles pack. Uh, if you have any suggestion or like comments, please let me know. Um, if anyone has a specific tutorial that you want me to make, I will be very happy to make one of those. So. Yeah, that was it for today. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.